Hi, I'm Gary Ewer. You know, when we talk about analyzing song melodies, we're usually talking about analyzing the notes of the melody. But I want to take a moment here and look at the rhythm of a melody and see how that changes over the length of a song. And you'll notice that rhythm, when you combine it with duration, which is how long we hold certain notes, will be different in a verse than it will be in a chorus. And I want to use two songs to demonstrate this principle. One is an old classic rock song uh, called Take It Easy by the Eagles. Then I want to look at something a little more modern, a little more contemporary, to see if that principle is still in effect. So when you look at Take It Easy, you'll notice that the rhythm of the melody in the verse is a fairly quick rhythm. It's sort of made up mainly of, of eighth notes. But then when the chorus begins, you'll notice that now you get this elongation, especially on the title words, take it easy. You'll notice that words start to become longer and the rhythm simplifies. Take it easy, take it easy. Don't let this... By elongating that word easy, it draws attention to itself. It also has more of an emotional impact. And that's the principle that's involved here. When you sit on certain notes and and elongate them, make them longer, it has a stronger effect on, on the audience. And, and so you'll notice that more in choruses than you do in verses. And you'll notice also that through the generations, it doesn't really matter uh, if you go back to the 1950s, 1970s, or something a little more contemporary today, you'll notice that that principle is still in effect. And now I want to take a look at a different song, Love Me Like You Do, you'll hear that the verse is comprised mainly of quicker eighth notes and sixteenth notes. You're the light, you're the night, you're the color of my blood. You're the cure, you're the pain, you're the only thing. But once the chorus begins, the rhythms simplify and you hear this very standard eighth note pattern. So love me like you do, la la, love me like you do, love me like you do. And it's the simplification of that rhythm in the chorus that makes the emotional connection to listeners. So in your own songs, take a look at the rhythms that you've used for your verse melody and compare them to the rhythms of the chorus. And you should notice a fairly obvious uh, simplification of rhythm and note durations becoming a bit longer, especially on words that, that form the title. Now, if you like this video and you'd like to see more of them, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel? And you can follow me on Twitter, at Gary Ewer. Thanks very much, and we'll see you next time.